Hi, my name is Tony Ridley and welcome once again to the Crisis Management and Leadership Education Tutorials. In this section we're talking about stakeholder influence or stakeholder analysis. In previous sessions we've spoken about the identification, simplified versions of um, identifying and communicating with stakeholders. In this section we're going to be talking about um, when and how to engage. Um, we briefly touched upon in the prior session on how and when and certainly the medium, the frequency, uh, the content of the message, the, uh, the, the medium, face to face, all those sorts of things are very important in terms of how and when. But the other consideration that needs to be identified in advance before you even undertake all of this is determining what the outcomes will be. Um, identifying whether you simply want to communicate the facts, whether you want an approval process, um, whether it's an equitable uh, deposit for trust, um, reputational issues, um, or whether you simply wish to, to mitigate and minimize uh, legal exposure be through defamatory or infactual or product recall and all those sorts of uh, uh, potential flow on effects. But uh, first and foremost for most organizations and individuals and departments is the preservation and appearance of transparency and truth is the, the simple uh, means and process in which you engage has a, quite a lot of equity um, in the sense that, um, that you have actively sought out, you didn't have to be pursued for uh, information and updates. Um, that in itself um, is quite um, engaging and certainly as I said it builds equity and strength uh, not only in the reputation but also the decision making and the moral compass associated with the organization. It gives you an, an opportunity and most people will tell you with uh, press release and crisis and communication pick uh, three or four points that's it make sure that that's the message personalize it speak about people 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 um, all of those factors but it gives you an opportunity depending on the me medium to ensure that your end or your version is communicated and this can also be beneficial in the sense that even if you don't have all of the facts you know acknowledging that you don't have all of the facts but um, it can also flesh out some of the details that are relevant related and pertinent to the crisis um, because you've quite uh, openly engaged communicated and then you can potentially get Get an update to your circumstances from these external stakeholders remembering that they have not only interest but they also have influence so as a result their influence can be telegraphed or communicated back to you so it's a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy in the sense that um, it, an admission that you don't have all of the information and details more information as a result can surface um, it's also very good for going on record for the specification of facts and details internal aspects that may have been uh, not uh, omitted uh, intentionally or otherwise facts that are not publicly available or due to your own privacy processes um, simply would not originate from anywhere else because they're controlled by you but it gives you a reason and an opportunity to communicate um, and again um, by being able to communicate with frequency uh, frequency to a in good times or routine processes is all the more important so you not only seem to be communicating only when there's an emergency or only when there's a disaster and it helps to mitigate or, or reduce rumors um, if you're fully factual you're frequent um, you are uh, accessible you're transparent and open then uh, it allows limited opportunity for rumors and this goes equally for internal as well as external stakeholders um, and overall uh, notwithstanding that I mentioned about legal exposure, but you have to consider some of the statements and uh, the, the uh, veracity of the information and fact checking and all of those sorts of things factor into it as well. But before you can engage or should engage a, a stakeholder, you should not only understand their interest and influence in the process um, and how potentially they could um, you know, enable or disable your campaign, but equally important if if not paramount is to have an outcome determine what it is that you want to achieve in advance before you communicate with anybody and certainly with stakeholders so once again that concludes uh, this section on stakeholder uh, engagement um, once again, uh, thanks very much for joining us. For further tutorials and information on these sessions, uh, please go to the website at www.crisismanagement.tony-ridley.com. That's all for now. Thanks and goodbye.